Breast cancer PSAs have gotten racier and racier. You know, there's the I Love Boobies campaign, there's the Save the Tatas campaign, but no one's really considered whether or not breast cancer survivors are in favor of, you know, the sexy ads. And just recently, uh, you know, there was an ad released in Latin America that uh, just focused on breasts, but didn't really address the issue of breast cancer. Let's take a look at that video. Genes are a funny thing, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm genetically wired to enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And as much as I'm sure I will later uh, denounce and reject them, I couldn't help but thinking like, hmm, that caught my attention. Okay, so that was an interesting ad because at first when I started thinking about this story and what my opinion and analysis should, should be, I thought, look, it's raising awareness about breast cancer, it's convincing people to donate money to breast cancer research, and it's a, there is a positive effect to this. So, mm -hmm. you know, people should just calm down. Obviously, if, you're, if you incorporate sex, you're more likely to grab people's attention, and they're more likely to donate to the cause, raise awareness, yada, yada. But then someone made a devastating point. An executive director of the Breast Cancer Action Advocacy Group says, the implicit message in these campaigns is that it is breasts that are sexy. It, sexy is what is important, and we should care about breast cancer because it takes those lovely, sexy breasts out of the world. Good Every point. October, the stunts just get more bizarre and further removed from what's needed for this epidemic. Another woman had said that, you know, that ad doesn't catch guys, men's attention so they donate to the cause. If anything, they're going to watch it and they're going to jerk off. That was, oh. her <laughs> that was her quote. I'm trying to find it right now. I can't. But yeah, and, and that was an interesting point because is that ad really gonna lead to a guy being active in the breast cancer awareness yeah, campaign? Yeah, no, I like the second point a lot better than I like the first point, honestly. Yeah. You know, it's her, the first point is like the fine intellectual uh, stand to take, etc. But, okay, we have to be really serious about this serious issue. You can be serious all you like. The question is, what is more effective, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So, but... They're right. It's not like guys look at that and go, my God, I all of a sudden I care so much about breast cancer and I'm going to donate. I don't believe it. I don't believe that that's what actually happens. Now, what is possible, though, that it does grab the attention of younger women who think, hey, maybe it might affect me as opposed to the stereotype of older women. And it's not an unwarranted stereotype. It affects older women at a greater rate, right? And if it gets them to check out you know, to uh, do a self-breast exam or get a breast exam at a exactly. doctor's office. Then maybe it's uh, effective in that sense. Are they overdoing it? Probably so. I think that they are overdoing it because I, I didn't think about this until I read uh, a breast cancer survivor's blog about it. You know, a lot of times when women have breast cancer, they have to get mastectomies, mastectomies and they remove the breast. Mm -hmm. And when you see these ads, it's like a constant reminder of the fact that you lost something that society values so much. You know, That's these really beautiful yeah. breasts. Like, and it's so insulting to breast cancer survivors because a lot of them can't afford the reconstructive surgery, don't have access to it. And, it's, and it makes me realize, you know, maybe the way we're coming at this is, is the wrong way. And, and the Save the Tatas, I Love Boobies campaign, I feel like is relatively harmless. But that ad went way too far. Yeah, and, and they're getting, as they pointed out, they're getting further and further every single year. And look, one other good point that a cancer survivor made is she said, look, we're not trying to save the breast. We're trying to save the human being. Exactly. And, and sometimes you have to sacrifice the breast in breast cancer to save the human being. So the focus of all of this is all off. Now, I'm a person who believes in reason and, and, and facts. So if they could show that these ads are working and raising more money or getting more people to, to go get screenings, then I'd say, you know, put all those good and fair points aside and I still vote in favor of it. But I haven't seen any such study. Now, I haven't seen studies on either side. Uh, but I think that it, they are getting salacious at this point 
for the sake of, of being salacious. salacious. Yeah.